And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. The Olympic Games have a new sport with a nod to hip hop. We're talking about break dancing. And joining us on The Factor Uncensored tonight to talk about the breaking competition at the Olympics, we have with us DJ King Flo from Mixtape Addict Media, and he's based in Paris, France, in France, of course, and we're glad to have him here. He's a purveyor of all things hip hop and from the Beast Radio, Tori Walker, who's also a lover of all things hip hop. So, guys, first of all, what do you think about the International Olympic Committee allowing the breaking competition in 2024? Your thoughts on it? I mean, it's a, it's a good thing, man. Uh, you know, the, the USA decided also to bring Snoop Dogg, you know, to the Olympics. And uh, we have the break dancing competition at the same time. So I'd say it's a win for hip hop culture, man. All right, Tori, your thoughts on it? Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy to see hip hop come this far. Of course, it turned 50 this year. So, you know, to have break dancing in the Olympics is like the, the cherry on top of the cake. Absolutely. And guys, obviously, the birthplace of hip hop is right here in the United States, in New York City. And of course, uh, Flo, you're in France and you love hip hop. Uh, mm -hmm. How important is it to your culture in France there? Man, uh, you know, hip hop culture has always been uh, big in France, especially since like the, the end of the 80s since uh, France is the second biggest market uh, just after the U.S. So it's always been important for us. And uh, like we're seeing at the Olympics, you know, it's the first time that break dancing is uh, actually in the, in the Olympics. And in uh, four years in Los Angeles, it's not going to be there. So it's a one shot. And I'm happy that France is a part of it, you know. And Tori, you and I were talking the added uh, skateboarding to the competition in 2020 and now breaking is now part of the competition in 2024. Did it come too late? Well, you got to remember in the beginning, people didn't think hip hop would last. So right. for it to last this long, I think it's about right on time. You know, it, it, people would break dance all across the world. So, you know, it's only fitting that they would add it on the 50th anniversary of hip hop. So. I would say it's pretty much on time. And of course, Flo, when they first started um, uh, selling tickets for the Olympics, this was the fastest seller. It sold out for physical tickets for those who want to see the breaking competition. Are you surprised by that? Um, and I'm not surprised. You know, Paris is a big city of hip hop, man. And uh, it's really a good thing for the culture. And I also hope that it's going to bring uh, more people uh, to the culture, you know, make young kids want to learn how to break dance and, you know, want to know about the different elements of hip hop too, because there'll be DJs here. So, you know, it's uh, a bunch of different things that, that's really interesting, man. And of course, Flo, we know when uh, breaking began in New York City, it, it was also an outlet for young people to not get into physical fights. If they wanted to have a beef with each other, they would dance and it would save lives as well. Yep, exactly. Uh, it gave a chance to people to, you know, like stop the violence, stop uh, messing up in the streets and, you know, focus on positive things. Man. So it's a, it's a wonderful thing. And Tori, what do you think this competition in the Olympics that will go through Saturday as well, the breaking competition, what do you think it will do for hip hop, for breaking, for the culture in general? Well, I think it'll bring a fresh set of eyes for people who may not have, for whatever reason, paid attention too much to the hip hop culture. It kind of sets it there and it, it, you know, curious minds will, will learn, you know, and hopefully they'll read more or maybe listen to some of the music and get more entrenched in, in hip hop culture. And of course, you know, there's technique, there's vocabulary, several, several different categories that you have to master in the uh, breaking competition. And, and they're using terms like be boy and be girls. Is that some nostalgia for you? Does that bring back some memories for you? <laughs> it's only right, I think, in my opinion, it's only right to use the correct terminology. Yep, yep, it's right, you know, and it's not bringing memories, you know, it's, it's still very actual, you know, uh, I DJed a b-boy competition uh, in Seattle like two months ago, and we were still calling our guys that, that the same way, b-boys and b-girls, man. It's always going to be like that. 
that make you want to pull out your Kango or your big chain, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor on Censored. DJ King Flow from Mixtape Attic Media and, of course, Tori Walker from The Beast Radio. Thank you guys, and we'll be following this competition and see how it turns out.